Moving on with 6, 5. Uh, now we're going to multiply some radicals together. There are two ways you can do this. The first way you could do this is to go ahead and simplify each radical first. So like if I'm on 3a here, you could go ahead and simplify this, then simplify that, and then do your final answer. Um, the reason I don't like that method is you end up having to simplify radicals three times, and I'd rather just do it once. So here's the method I like. Um, whatever's on the outside of the radical sign, multiply that stuff together. So I have a 6 and a 4. Go ahead and multiply those together. That's 24. Then you can go ahead and do the stuff that's underneath the radical sign. So all of this times all of that. So radical sign, 8 times 2 is 16. Uh, that would be C to the 4th and D to the 8th. Because I chose to do it this way, um, all of these radicals are going to simplify pretty, pretty nicely. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of c to the 4th is just c squared. And the square root of d to the 8th is just d to the 4th. All of this still times that 24. So I'm going to take 24 times 4 to get 96 c squared d to the fourth. If you had chosen to simplify the radicals first, um, you would have had to take this 4 out to get, know that it was a square root of 2, so that you would have had 12. Um, then you could have taken a c out. There's going to be a c left over. And you could have taken d to the fourth and d um, Okay, you could have gotten to this point, and then you still had to do it to the other one, which nothing, well, I guess one of the Ds could, could have come out. Oh, there's a 4. Sorry, I forgot that. Kind of running out of space here. 2CD. You multiply everything. Uh, 4 times 12 is 48. You have a C. You have a D squared. Hang on. I forgot a squared here, so that should have actually been d cubed. Then underneath the radical sign, you have a 4c squared d squared that you then now have to simplify again um, to pull out a 2. Now you have, that was supposed to be a c. Since you have two c's now, that's d squared. And pull out a D, so now you have four of those. 96, C squared, D the fourth. I know I didn't explain it super well, um, but you can see that it was a lot more work than if you just multiply from the start. So <clears throat> that's how you do those. Um, one rule that you do need to be careful of is if you're going to multiply the, quote, stuff that's underneath the radical sign, they do need to have the same index. So both of these are fours. That's great. If one was a four and one was a three, no go. You can only multiply the same uh, things that are under the radical signs if they have the same index. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I think do the next example real quick. Oh, just kidding. I'll make it another video. <laughs> 